I'm done um, chopping up my fruits and veggies. I put in each fruit in separately just because I like to see what the juice looks like as I'm doing each fruit. So I'll put my apples in first, juice it, and then I'll put in, you know, go through each um, each ingredient. When I'm all done juicing, I like to pour some water into the juicer um, spout just to make sure I'm getting everything out into um, the juice side of the um, the gadget. The good thing about the Breville juicer is it is so crazy how it separates all the juice on one side and all of the um, solids on the other. So these little produce bags, I save these because I put the produce bags into the waste basket on the other side just so it'll be easier cleanup. these produce bags or I'll use just my um <laughs> my Walmart bags aka my um plastic cap <laughs> I found another use for those Walmart bags so yeah I'll use that to put into on the waste um basket side just so it'll be easy clean up as soon as you're done juicing you need to clean that thing because it, it's so easy to clean when you do it right after juicing if you wait after a few hours it's just gonna be annoying <laughs> The good thing is, um, the good thing is, um, all of the parts of the juicer, except the main part, of course, the electric part, but all the, uh, um, detachments are dishwasher safe, so, um, I have been hand washing them, but one time I did forget to clean it immediately, and it was a disaster, so I hand washed it a little bit, and then I put it into the dishwasher, and then it was fine. Um, definitely, you know, you need to clean your fruits and veggies really well. Um, for the leaf vegetables like the kale and the spinach, you may want to soak them a little while. And when you soak them, it's going to add more water content to it as well. So yeah, make sure you do that. I'm just really happy that I'm so into this because I have never had a healthy diet like this in my life. Like when I lay out the fruits for my Instagram pictures, I have some on here. When I lay it out and see how much um, fruits and veggies I'm putting into my body, I just get so excited. Like this is a whole plate of fruits and veggies. Look at this. Look at this. All of that. That's four apples, one lemon, kale, spinach, and celery. And I I took all of those vitamins and nutrients and put them into my body. It's just amazing. And I've really been focusing on eating for my hair. Hair my hair is important. It has become a part of my brand. So it is so important to me. And I just want to do everything possible to make it better, to make it more healthy, and to continue to encourage you guys out there. So that's why I feel like I'm really going to stick to this this time. Like, seriously, I'm just so pumped. Everything is really delicious. And, I mean, I really think I can stick with it. first struggle I had is on my first day of juicing, where I literally was just juicing. This was when I... um said I was just juicing that's it no other like no chicken eggs or anything just juicing and I didn't feel like cooking um for the family because I was trying to get in the zone and Devin understood that so he ordered food for everyone I think they had buffalo wild wings <laughs> and I usually get my garlic parmesan wings from them or my um honey barbecue wings from buffalo wild wings so they ordered and um, Devin came in and he like set up the um, table and everything and Skylar runs in the bedroom and she's like mommy it's time to eat and I was like <sighs> like dinner time eating with your family that's so important that's like a bonding moment and 
And Skylar's face, when I responded to her, I was like, Mommy's not eating tonight, you know? And she looked so sad, and I immediately got sad, and I was like, oh my god. So that was my first struggle. Um, the second struggle is when we go out to eat. So now when we go out to eat, I just... I order a salad and or I'll order fruit cocktail or always get water so that is tough because like I said that's even though our, our family we waste food all the time we don't really eat that much um but the point of eating with your family is to bond and have dinner together so that has been very tough but I found ways around it and I'm okay now it was just like the first few days it was weird but I'm good now like seriously I'm so good once I started to add the chicken and eggs and everything then I thought you know my problem is snacking like I want to snack on something crunchy like I like potato chips and Cheetos and stuff like that but I'm not going to eat those anymore so I did go out to Walmart last night and decided that I do want to have some snacks around the house that I can munch on. I have not started munching on these yet, but they're here just in case I have a weak moment, in case I want a cheat day or something. So remember, I'm not doing I'm not eating these as part of my juicing. So I did open this one though. I tasted this last night. <laughs> but this is Nature's Harvest Dark Chocolate Cranberry Trail Mix. So this is a blend of peanuts, sunflower kernels, raisins, dark chocolate drops, dried cranberries, and almonds. So I did pick this up in case I get like a sweet tooth. I think it's important that if you're setting boundaries that you have something in place where if you slip up, it'll be a good slip up. So I did get these. 